Welcome to freezing cold Sweden. We've come here to the Arctic Circle to find out exactly how much safer winter tyres are in cold conditions compared to summer tyres, which is what most of us Brits have fitted to our cars all year round, regardless of how bad the weather is. To do this, we'll be conducting a number of tests to see how a car performs on each type of tyre in the snow. For consistency, we're using the same brand of rubber and the exact same make and model of car. The red Seat Leon is on the summer tyres, while the white one, winter tyres. So, what's the difference? Compared to summer tyres, winter tyres are made from rubber which stays soft at lower temperatures, while their more complex tread pattern helps grip onto snow. Right then, our first test is braking from 30 miles an hour. When our drivers reach this cone, they'll do a full ABS emergency stop and we'll measure how long it takes for them to come to a complete halt. Okay then, here we go. The white car stops easily, while the red one carries on for ages. The car with winter tyres on took 27 metres to stop, but the one with summer tyres, 85 metres. That's more than three times the distance. And if you think that's scary, consider this. At the point the white car had stopped, the red one was still doing 25 miles an hour. The next test is about traction to find out how easy it is to get moving on each set of tyres. So we're going to have a drag race with a difference and time how long it takes each car to get up to 30 miles an hour. Ready, go. The red car is left floundering while the white one pulls away cleanly. In fact, thanks to its winter tyres, it manages to get to 30 and stop again while the red car is still way off its target speed. Our final test is about making an emergency manoeuvre. When our cars reach this gate, the drivers will suddenly apply half a turn of lock as if something stepped out of the road in front of them and they're trying to avoid it. First up, winter tyres. The white car responds to the sudden steering input, almost as though it's on a dry road. Now for the summer tyres. This time the driver turns the wheel, but little happens. In fact, the car pretty much ploughs straight on. Well then, I think the evidence is pretty conclusive, isn't it? If you want to make yourself as safe as possible in snowy conditions, you need to get yourself a set of these winter tyres, because quite frankly, these summer tyres aren't up to the job. However, experts reckon we could benefit from winter tyres even when it isn't snowing, as they improve braking in the wet at temperatures of 7 Celsius or below, which it is in Britain between October and March. To test this theory out, we've come to Continental's proving ground in Germany, where the climate is pretty similar to that in the UK. With us is David Qualby. He's the chairman of the RAC Foundation and wants to see for himself whether British drivers should consider running winter tyres for half the year. So he's going to conduct an experiment for us. We're going to see how long it takes our car to brake from 50 miles an hour in the wet on first the winter tyres and then the summer tyres. With a temperature of the air and track below 7 degrees, we're good to go. So let's start with the winter tyres. Once up to speed, David is going to hit the brakes when he reaches the cones. On winter tyres, the car stops in 35.5 metres, which is impressive. But what happens when we change the car onto summer tyres? Let's find out. This time the car took 42.5 metres to stop. That's an increase of 7 metres, which is more than a car's length. In fact, at the point the car has stopped on winter tyres, on summer tyres, it was still doing 20 miles an hour. But what does the difference feel like from behind the wheel? The um, summer tyre felt like it normally does when you're having to do an emergency brake. It kind of judders to a halt a bit, but you get, get there and it's fine. The real difference with the winter tyre, which really struck me, was not only that you stop in quite a significantly shorter distance, but it feels much more stable. So then we've seen that winter tyres not only improve safety in the snow, but also when it's wet and cold. As a result, we'd all benefit from having them fitted to our cars for about half the year. 